Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Isn't that the baddest sticker you've ever seen? Dude, that is sick. I love it. I'm all about the patriotism. Today, guys and gals, everyone inclusive here, uh, we're going to be covering Liquid X by Kim X. This is their polymer infused soap. And what I'm excited about is this soap is supposed to sheet the water from the panel and leave protection behind. So hopefully I don't get too sidetracked, which I do a lot. But when you use a polymer based or infused product, they usually are more durable. And Bob on his uh, YouTube channel, Chemex.com, no, Chemex on YouTube says that the polymers are about five times stronger than Carnuba's. So this soap, while it's gonna sheet, the water after you wash, which I like better anyway, I mean, beads are great to look at and they're awesome to talk about, but if you were to dehydrate that bead, there goes another leak in my system, that's annoying. Um, if you were to take a super beaded car and dehydrate those beads in place, don't touch them, don't blow them, just dehydrate them right there. You're gonna have a ton of water spots on your hood or your window, whatever, wherever you dehydrate those. Anyway, so this polymer soap is gonna leave behind a little bit of gloss not quite as glossy as maybe a wash and wax, something that has maybe some carnauba in it, um, but it's gonna last longer. Bob claims that this should help protect your panel for up to a month. So if you have a base sealant or wax down and you use this soap, you're solid, you're good to go. Uh, what are the polymers in here? So I read on it a little bit and I asked Bob directly and his uh, blender, his soap guy, the chemist said that it is a silicone quat, which is Known in the industry for anti-static agents, a little bit of gloss, protection, um, and it'll help prevent things from bonding to the panel. In essence, helping keep your ride cleaner longer. So, and Bob even says this is his foamiest soap. So for you foam cultists, you mobile guys, you may want to check this soap out. Let's just get to it without further ado. I have two ounces in my foam cannon, one ounce in the bucket. So uh, what I'm going to do is two panels. I'm going to do the hood on my pickup. That's what I affectionately call my hoop day. And then I'm going to do this back quarter panel on this car. This truck, unprotected, no coating, nothing. This car, two-year McKees coating, and we're coming up on the third year here in about, what, we're in the third month. So about five months, six months from now. This will be the third year. So this one is actually at the end of its life, but this is still a coated car. So I'm gonna do both of these. Let's come in and look at the pickup. This is just fresh, because we had rain last night, so it has a little bit of beading action. It's dirty. I don't know if you can see beads. Beads on white are terrible. Can't really see anything on a white car, or a truck. A white colored vehicle, and this is dry. This is a garage queen, as they call them. So what I'm gonna do is just set you over here in the corner. Let's foam that and that way if the wind blows you over you'll hit my work truck, which you Can't see now. I moved you out of the frame, but uh, you're right up against my work truck. So Let's just foam this on and See what it looks like first. I'm gonna rinse it. Let's rinse first and look at the behavior the screen isn't wet <laughs> the wind's blowing like crazy so after just the initial rinse I don't see any beating on that hood at all it's flat it's nothing nada if there was anything there it's gone so let's just get to it let's go ahead and foam this down I'll show you the foam action and then we'll agitate rinse and see what happens two ounces in this foam cannon
I know what some of you are gonna say. That foam isn't impressive. You know what? This is my style of foam. It's a wet, low dense foam. I like this style of foam. Just a side note, if you want more foam, just add more soap. I only put two ounces in that 32 ounce cannon. So uh, you could put four, six, eight, you can juice it up however you want. This is what I call Doug style foam. Wet foam, more like a soaper than a foamer. That's my style. Let's scrub that hood real quick. Oh my God, a brush, Doug. <laughs> yeah, it's a brush, but this is a boar's hair brush. Um, they're supposedly the best for your paint if you're gonna use a brush. Um, and I don't think many of you wanna buy this. The head alone was 125. Muy expensive. My daily driver that gets, it's not even a daily driver, it's a weekly driver. It gets driven once a week, twice a week. Let's rinse it and see if it sheets. Come on! bring you in see if you can see the sheeting so by the time I re-wet that hood just then it was already kicking off the water I can see it up here can you guys see it so the panels sheeting it's sheeting a lot quicker than it was on the initial rinse if you recall so I'd say that hoods about half dry eh, a third dry see it's sheeting right here I don't know if you were watching that that puddle right here is disappearing right there Hope you can see that. So it does work. There's a little bit of beading left behind. Probably a little bit of gloss, hard to tell on this paint. Again, this is a single stage uh, paint job. It's never been cut and buffed, no protection. But that's kind of boring for you guys. Let's just do this car right here. This is the coated car. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully my camera doesn't shut off. I've been having a ton of problems with that. All right, let's rinse and see. action on that pretty good beater see that hope you guys can see all those see the beads bam my cat's crying she wants to be a rock star say hi Mina hi Mina Mina all right Let's see what happens on this coated panel right here Let's just do it Again, keep in mind, adjust your suds if you like it. Thick shaving cream. Put uh, four to six ounces in your can of gun. This is my style of foam. That's why I think the silencer is gonna be right up my alley. The downstream injector. Cause I like just a more wet soap, almost like a thick soaper, not a foamer. It's kicking the water off a little differently than before. Still beating, but about 50% less beads than before. I'm gonna set you here. It's gonna be a little annoying and noisy for a second. Let's blow this dry and see what happens.
yes, that was effective. It's not 100% dry, but I myself can't stand the noise, so I killed it. That's why I use an electric gas, or an electric gas, an electric pressure washer. I don't like the noise. So, guys, check out Chemex Liquid X Soap. If you're a mobile guy, this also will help uh, with the polymers that are in it, not only the uh, keeping things from adhering to the panel real hard, not only the anti-static, but this will help prevent, you know, cut back on water spotting. So all you guys, especially in California, Arizona, places that it gets really hot, you're gonna wanna check this product out. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to offer today. I think this is a great product. Check the link in the description below. Check out their website and uh, give me some ideas down below what you wanna see. I know I've been doing a lot of chemicals and soaps lately. Uh, tell me what you guys wanna see and I'll try to do it. Uh, Chemex, chemex.com, check the link in the description. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.